Hey guys, it's Pip from Framing the Thought here, and today we're going to be talking about Peter Farelli's Green Book, which follows Tony Lip, played by Viggo Mortensen, who's an Irish bouncer from the Bronx, who was hired to help famous pianist Dr. Don Shirley, played by Mahershala Ali, as they travel through the deep south of the United States in the early 1960s. This film kicked off incredibly well, with a fast-paced scene that introduced the viewer to Tony Lip and gave much insight into his character with the support of a band playing some enrapturing music that pulled the viewer in, and really, pretty much every single scene in this movie, if not every scene, had some sort of music, whether it be score style or soundtrack style, that supported whatever scene it was in wonderfully and was certainly one of the most charismatic scores of the past few years. There were so many scenes involving music that had the viewer dancing in their seats, and specifically the scenes in which Mahershala Ali played the piano, just drew intense emotions from the viewer, whether it be feeling his anger or feeling the happiness seeping through the screen from Viggo Mortensen's smile. Furthermore, the charisma that emanated from both Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali was wonderful and displayed how great of actors they both are with how different both their roles were from their norm and how amazing they both were in their roles. To expand upon this, the chemistry between the two of them and Tony's wife, uh, Dolores, played by Linda Cardellini, felt so real and so organic that they managed to pull the viewer into the experience even further. Even just the subtleties that the actors did exemplified how magnificent of a job they did, and also went to show how much detail, effort, and love the director put into this film, and how wonderful of a job he did. Upon all of these things, the writing is what really topped everything off so wonderfully, with such a wonderful story brought together into a screenplay, and managing to bring together the character arts and plot points so wonderfully. One thing in particular that deserves a lot of extra credit is the scenes where the characters were traveling. Due to the excellent passage of time and the dialogue that was present throughout most of the film, but especially in these moments, I would be willing to call this film a mastery of dialogue and a real standout in the genre of drama in the past couple of years, and one of my favorites of all time for sure. There were a couple of plot points involving Dr. Don Shirley that should have been explored further, though, and were left a little bit too under de underdeveloped. And I'm not going to go into them because I feel like that would be spoiling the film, but yeah. One final part of the screenplay and directing that should be adored an incredible amount would be the juxtapositions that were present in so many scenes that allowed for the viewers to be given wonderful contrasts that gave so much more depth to scenes, and this can be exemplified further through looking at the differences between the really dark and then the much lighter scenes, due to how often they weren't that far apart. All of these scenes drive the exact emotions that they tried to, and they did it so strongly, and were paced so wonderfully, which in turn allowed the viewer to get really tense about what was going on in the story, and then go to a scene that made everyone in the theater laugh. Finally, the cinematography was like a lovely little bow on top by managing to take all of these wonderful aspects and bring so much beauty to them visually and draw the viewer in with excellently timed cuts and often extremely intimate shots. Overall, Peter Farelli managed to bring together a truly gorgeous film that explored deep themes but also let the viewer breathe with some truly funny scenes that were brought together by the incredible screenplay and dialogue brought to life by some wonderful actors. I'm going to give Green Book an A+. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is the only A+, that I've given a movie that I've seen this year, because even before I started making these videos, I was sort of mentally doing a lot of this stuff so yeah definitely my favorite of the year <laughs> i hope you guys are having a good week bye